The monarchs of the Kingdom of France and its predecessors and successor monarchies ruled from the establishment of the Kingdom of the Franks in 486 until the fall of the Second French Empire in 1870, with several interruptions. Sometimes included as «kings of France» are the kings of the Franks of the Merovingian dynasty, which ruled from 486 until 751, and of the Carolingians, who ruled until 987 with some interruptions. The Capetian dynasty, the male line descendants of Hugh Capet, included the first rulers to adopt the title of «king of France» for the first time with Philip II r. 1180 the Capetians ruled continuously from 987 to 1792 and again from 1814 to 1848. The branches of the dynasty which ruled after 1328, however, are generally given the specific branch names of Valois until 1589 and Bourbon until 1848. During the brief period when the French Constitution of 1791 was in effect 1791 and after the July Revolution in 1830, the style of King of the French was used instead of King of France and Navarre. It was a constitutional innovation known as popular monarchy, which linked the monarch's title to the French people rather than to the possession of the territory of France, with the House of Bonaparte. Emperors of the French ruled in 19th century France between 1804 and 1814, again in 1815, and between 1852 and 1870. Topic. Titles The title, King of the Franks, Latin, Rex Francorum, gradually lost ground after 1190, during the reign of Philip II, but Francorum Rex continued to be used, for example by Louis XII in 1499, by Francis I in 1515, and by Henry II about 1550. It was used on coins up to the 18th century. During the brief period when the French Constitution of 1791 was in effect 1791 and after the July Revolution in 1830, the style, King of the French, was used instead of King of France and Navarre. It was a constitutional innovation known as popular monarchy which linked the monarch's title to the French people rather than to the possession of the territory of France. In addition to the Kingdom of France, there were also two French empires, the first from 1804 to 1814 and again in 1815, founded and ruled by Napoleon I, and the second from 1852 to 1870, founded and ruled by his nephew Napoleon III, also known as Louis Napoleon. They used the title Emperor of the French. This article lists all rulers to have held the title, King of the Franks, King of France, King of the French, or Emperor of the French. For other Frankish monarchs, see List of Frankish Kings. In addition to the monarchs listed below, the kings of England and Great Britain from 1340 to 60, 1369 to 1420, and 1422 to 1801 also claimed the title of King of France. For a short time, this had some basis in fact, under the terms of the 1420 Treaty of Troyes, Charles VI had recognized his son-in-law Henry V of England as regent and heir. Henry V predeceased Charles VI and so Henry V's son, Henry VI, succeeded his grandfather Charles VI as King of France. Most of northern France was under English control until 1435, but by 1453, the English had been expelled from all of France save Calais and the Channel Islands, and Calais itself fell in 1558. Nevertheless, English and then British monarchs continued to claim the title for themselves until the creation of the United Kingdom in 1801. <laughs> Frankish Empire. Merovingian dynasty 509 to 751 The Merovingians were a Salian Frankish dynasty that ruled the Franks for nearly 300 years in a region known as Francia in Latin beginning in the middle of the 5th century Their territory largely corresponded to ancient Gaul as well as the Roman provinces of Raetia Germania Superior and the southern part of Germania the Merovingian dynasty was supposedly founded by Merovech, son of Clodio, leader of the Salian Franks. 
but it rose to historical prominence with the reign of his supposed son Childeric I c. and supposed grandson Clovis I who united all of Gaul under Merovingian rule. Carolingian dynasty 751 to 888 The Carolingian dynasty was a Frankish noble family with origins in the Arnulfing and Pippinid clans of the 7th century AD. The family consolidated its power in the 8th century, eventually making the offices of mayor of the palace and dukes at Princeps Francorum hereditary and becoming the real powers behind the Merovingian kings. In 751, a Carolingian, Pepin the Younger, dethroned the Merovingians and with the consent of the papacy and the aristocracy, was crowned king of the Franks. <laughs> Robertian dynasty 888 The Robertians were Frankish noblemen owing fealty to the Carolingians, and ancestors of the subsequent Capetian dynasty. Odo, Count of Paris, was chosen by the Western Franks to be their king following the removal of Emperor Charles the Fat. He was crowned at Compiègne in February 888 by Walter, Archbishop of Sens. Topic: <laughs> Carolingian Dynasty 898 to 922. Charles, the posthumous son of Louis II, was crowned by a faction opposed to the Robertian Odo at Reims Cathedral, though he only became the effectual monarch with the death of Odo in 898. Topic: <laughs> Robertian Dynasty 922 to 923. Topic: Bosonid dynasty 923 to 936 The Bosonids were a noble family descended from Boso the Elder their member Rudolf Raoul was elected king of the Franks in 923 Topic <laughs> Carolingian dynasty 936 to 987 Topic: Capetian Dynasty 987-1792. After the death of Louis V, the son of Hugh the Great and grandson of Robert I, Hugh Capet, was elected by the nobility as King of France. The Capetian Dynasty, the male line descendants of Hugh Capet, ruled France continuously from 987 to 1792 and again from 1814 to 1848. They were direct descendants of the Robertian kings. The cadet branches of the dynasty which ruled after 1328, however, are generally given the specific branch names of Valois and Bourbon. Not listed below are Hugh Magnus, eldest son of Robert II, and Philip of France, eldest son of Louis VI. Both were co-kings with their fathers in accordance with the early Capetian practice whereby kings would crown their heirs in their own lifetimes and share power with the co-king, but predeceased them. Because neither Hugh nor Philip were sole or senior king in their own lifetimes, they are not traditionally listed as kings of France, and are not given ordinals. Henry VI of England, son of Catherine of Valois, became titular king of France upon his grandfather Charles VI's death in accordance with the Treaty of Troyes of 1420, however, this was disputed and he is not always regarded as a legitimate king of France. English claims to the French throne actually date from 1328, when Edward III claimed the throne after the death of Charles IV. Other than Henry VI, none had ever had their claim backed by treaty, and his title became contested after 1429, when Charles VII was crowned. Henry himself was crowned by a different faction in 1431, though at the age of ten, he had yet to come of age. The final phase of the Hundred Years' War was fought between these competing factions, resulting in a Valois victory at the Battle of Castellon in 1453, putting an end to any meaningful claims of the English monarchs over the throne of France, though English and later British monarchs would continue to use the title, King of France, until 1801. 
From the 21st of January 1793 to the 8th of June 1795, Louis XVI's son Louis Charles was the titular king of France as Louis XVII. In reality, however, he was imprisoned in the Temple throughout this duration, and power was held by the leaders of the Republic. Upon Louis XVII's death, his uncle Louis XVI's brother Louis Stanislas claimed the throne as Louis XVIII, but only became de facto king of France in 1814. House of Capet The main line of descent from Hugh Capet is known as the House of Capet. That line became extinct in 1328, creating a succession crisis known as the Hundred Years' War. While there were numerous claimants to succeed, the two best claimants were the House of Valois and the House of Plantagenet and then later the House of Lancaster. Topic: House of Valois 1328 to 1589. The death of Charles IV started the Hundred Years' War between the House of Valois and the House of Plantagenet, later the House of Lancaster, over control of the French throne. The Valois claimed the right to the succession by male-only primogeniture, having the closest all-male line of descent from a recent French king. They were descended from the third son of Philip III, Charles, Count of Valois. The Plantagenets based their claim on being closer to a more recent French king, Edward III of England being a grandson of Philip IV through his mother, Isabella. The two houses fought the Hundred Years' War to enforce their claims, the Valois were ultimately successful, and French historiography counts their leaders as rightful kings. One Plantagenet, Henry VI of England, did enjoy de jure control of the French throne under the terms of the Treaty of Troyes, which formed the basis for continued English claims to the throne of France until the 19th century. The Valois line would rule France until the line became extinct in 1589, in the backdrop of the French Wars of Religion. As Navarre did not have a tradition of male-only primogeniture, the Navarrese monarchy became distinct from the French, with Joan II, a daughter of Louis X, inheriting there. Topic: House of Lancaster 1422 to 1453 disputed. Topic: House of Valois 1328 to 1589. Topic: House of Bourbon 1589 to 1792. The Valois line looked strong on the death of Henry II, who left four male heirs. His first son, Francis II, died in his minority. His second son, Charles IX, had no legitimate sons to inherit. Following the premature death of his fourth son Hercule François, and the assassination of his third son, the childless Henry III, France was plunged into a succession crisis over which distant cousin of the king would inherit the throne. The best claimant, King Henry III of Navarre, was a Protestant, and thus unacceptable to much of the French nobility. Ultimately, after winning numerous battles in defence of his claim, Henry converted to Catholicism and was crowned king, founding the House of Bourbon. This marked the second time the thrones of Navarre and France were united under one monarch, as different inheritance laws had caused them to become separated during the events of the Hundred Years' Wars. The House of Bourbon would be overthrown during the French Revolution, replaced by a short-lived republic. Topic: <laughs> House of Bonaparte, First Empire, 1804 to 1814. The French First Republic lasted from 1792 to 1804, when its popular first consul, Napoleon Bonaparte, decided to make France a monarchy again. He took the popular title Emperor of the French instead of King of France and Navarre or King of the French to avoid all titles of the Kingdom of France making France's second popular monarchy. Capetian dynasty (1814–1815). Following the first defeat of Napoleon and his exile to Elba, the Bourbon monarchy was restored, with Louis XVI's younger brother Louis Stanislas being crowned as Louis XVIII. 
Louis XVI's a son had been considered by monarchists as Louis XVII, but he was never crowned and never ruled in his own right before his own death. He is not usually counted among French monarchs, creating a gap in numbering on most traditional lists of French kings. Napoleon would briefly regain control of the country during his Hundred Days rule in 1815. After his final defeat at the Battle of Waterloo, Napoleon attempted to abdicate in favor of his son, but the Bourbon monarchy was re-established yet again, and would continue to rule France until the July Revolution of 1830 replaced it with a cadet branch, the House of Orleans. House of Bourbon, Bourbon Restoration 1814 House of Bonaparte, First Empire, Hundred Days, 1815. Topic: Capetian Dynasty, 1815 to 1848. Topic: House of Bourbon, 1815 to 1830. The Bourbon Restoration came to an end with the July Revolution of 1830, which deposed Charles X and replaced him with Louis Philippe I, a distant cousin with more liberal politics. Charles X's son Louis signed a document renouncing his own right to the throne only after a 20 minute argument with his father, because he was never crowned. He is disputed as a genuine king of France. Louis's nephew Henry was likewise considered by some to be Henry V, but the new regime did not recognize his claim and he never ruled. House of Orléans, July Monarchy Under Louis Philippe, the fourth popular monarchy of France changed the styles and forms of the ancient regime, replacing them with more populist forms i.e. replacing «King of France» with «King of the French». Over the years Louis Philippe grew more conservative when a revolution broke out he fled to Great Britain leaving his son Prince Philippe, Count of Paris as King of the French. Two days later the Second French Republic was declared. He was never crowned making him disputed as a genuine monarch. <laughs> House of Bonaparte, Second Empire 1852 The French Second Republic lasted from 1848 to 1852, when its president, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, was declared Emperor of the French. He took the regnal name of Napoleon III, after his uncle, Napoleon I, and his cousin, Napoleon II, who was declared but uncrowned as heir to the imperial throne. Napoleon III would later be overthrown during the events of the Franco Prussian War. He was the last monarch to rule France, thereafter, the country was ruled by a succession of republican governments see French Third Republic. <laughs> Later pretenders Various pretenders descended from the preceding monarchs have claimed to be the legitimate monarch of France, rejecting the claims of the President of France, and of each other. These groups are Legitimist claimants to the throne of France, descendants of the Bourbons, rejecting all heads of state 1792 to 1814, 1815, and since 1830. Unionists recognized the Orleanist claimant after 1883. Legitimist Anjou claimants to the throne of France, descendants of Louis XIV, claiming precedence over the House of Orléans by virtue of primogeniture. Orléanist claimants to the throne of France, descendants of Louis Philippe, himself descended from a junior line of the Bourbon dynasty, rejecting all heads of state since 1848. Bonapartist claimants to the throne of France, descendants of Napoleon I and his brothers, rejecting all heads of state 1815-48, and since 1870. English claimants to the throne of France, kings of England and later, of Great Britain renounced by Hanoverian King George III upon union with Ireland in 1800. Jacobite claimants to the throne of France, senior heirs general of King Edward III of England and thus his claim to the French throne, also claiming England, Scotland, and Ireland. Topic. 
Topic See also Kings of France family tree detailed French monarchs family tree simple Style of the French sovereign British claims to the French throne List of French consorts List of heirs to the French throne equals equals notes <laughs>